a number of different categories, including only allowing 108 yards on the ground. The Look pass, up. an interception made, going right towards the end zone. That's Kedrick White. And Kedrick White, who is a special guy, one of the team captains, and he's got the INT. On the ball, the experience of number one. You see the read there, miscommunication, but his eyes were in the backfield the whole time, reading his keys with a huge turnover by Sacred Heart early in this game. Formation. You see him showing look for run, pass into the end zone, finding his man, Braden Bros. They've been better for it. Now third and long for Sacred Heart. McCray with time, feeling the pressure, and he's brought down. The sack by Matt Palmer. Brings up third and one, and quickly wrapped up. And a tackle for a loss. Good play there by DeAndre Bird. Aries for Chestnut, just seven yards for the FCS leading rusher. But here, he's got a hole, flips over, past the first down, and there he was able to get a long one, 11 yards. Be on tape, and now he's done an awesome job with Sacred Heart. They give it to him once again, bouncing off of a tackler, still on his feet, strong run from Chestnut. Coordinator, you're thinking, hey, if I can pick up three or four of these yards, it's not automatic, get off the field. Well, the pass complete, and again, utilizing the tight end, Cudahy. Actual running back like him, so now back to pass. An easy one, and boy, there were a couple of defenders around, but zipping it in. And that set up the touchdown for the Blue Hands. The cuts that you see from Julius Chestnut, let me tell you, Jay, he said he would watch Jerome Bettis growing up, but Le'Veon Bell was his guy because 150 or more yards on the ground. McCray with some time as a flag comes out. Flush out of the pocket, there's some room. But we'll see what the call is. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number 94. From the Blue Hens' seven yard line. Can they capitalize in the red zone? Julius Chestnut, when he's got the rock, he says yes. You see trips to the top of your screen. Henderson looking that way across the middle and in and out of the hands as it popped out of Gene Coleman's hands. Try to come after Chestnut, load the box, but finding a way to avoid tacklers, and that was Marquez McCray on the run. Controlling the line of scrimmage. Again, searching for their first playoff win. The pass and the dart right in there to Womack. Play Jacksonville State in Jacksonville, Alabama. Back to pass. McCray with plenty of time decides to get rid of it and into the hands of Noah Black. Black still on his feet, got blocking, and then finally tripped up by Jordan Griffin, the right guard. Interception. Now Plax going to get into the act. Step up. If it's not there, get rid of it, hit the check down, but trying to do a little bit too much. Great recognition of Noah Platt plucking that ball out of the air. But what you don't do, don't throw the ball across your body. Trying to throw across his body. Unleash the passing attack. You see the total yards on the bottom of your screen, just 47. And there's the passing attack. The completion to Thyric Pitts. And so across midfield, aided by that 15-yard penalty. And once more connecting with Pitts. Looking, looking, Got him. Pick. and an interception! What Great play. coverage, blanketing was Arsheen Giles, the redshirt freshman. And number 13, Giles, you'll see, beat the wide receiver to the break. Inside leverage, fantastic play by the freshman. I mean, this is just a great break on the ball. Knowing the ball's probably coming in this vicinity, he beat the wide receiver to the point. We'll see if he can get some leg into this one. Oh, oh, over his head! And the safety! So, Nowhere to go, stopped, brought down by Nick Coomer. The red shirt freshman 
I think he's a good one. <laughs> Interestingly enough, it was Henderson that drew comparisons to Joe Flacco's brother Tom, who played at Towson, completes the pass to Spool. And Spool with the gain of none there. View. There's a foul on the play for targeting Sacred Heart, number 23. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the run. Number 23 is disqualified for the remainder of the contest. Delaware defender Kedrick Whitehead. Good run by Spool and Spool looking pretty spicy on that 12-yard run. In the game. Instead, they decided to give it to Spool again. Good for a first down, six yards. John Lee back in the game. The pressure up front coming his way, and that was Omar Frazier who was right in his face. Win behind him. Let's see what he does from 53. The hold is good, and just <laughs> bouncing over. And he's able to squeak it through. That's the home field advantage that you're hoping for. And this second half has been relatively quiet, but Strong carry there for Chestnut, dragging folks with him, and he's past the century mark here. The Pioneers are glad to see the sticks move, and Chestnut can keep them moving here. The cuts, the speed, the vision, you see it all, folks. They opt to hand it off to Grant, and Grant bursts through the hole and first down. Craig with time, finds his man, and the pass is complete to Nick Gill. Second reception on this drive. Hey, with some points here. Hill coming, wrapping him up, nowhere to go Bumble. for McCray. The ball on the ground. And the sack for Nigel Hill and company. You didn't see it coming. See this coming. He's looking so hard left that he doesn't realize you've got the safety coming. That's actually the cornerback, Nigel Hill, coming from his cornerback position. Forces the fumble, and they're fortunate to recover. Five-yard attempt for Noah Getman. Getman gets it through, and it's good. So Coordinated where the plays are going in. And Spruill has done a nice job as he picks up the first down. Play clock and counting. Henderson, quick fire there. Yards and more by Bryce Damali. And Jay, you can sense that they're just wanting something to happen. And for Sacred Heart fans, they're liking exactly what happened as Kevin Pepper was able to sneak through. In front of you and make a tackle. The pass complete and the sure-handed catch from Thyric Pitts on the run. Downs this season. They're putting it right oh. into the hands and ripped off. And you know what's happening there. Everybody in America knows. As Spruill still down. Get up and walk away from that. The penetration was there, but as he made the cut, He was just ripped off the helmet by Noel Hajazi. And the secondary help keep possession of the ball. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number 95. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. So with the help, Lee, who transferred from Army, and now is making an impact here in Delaware. The stiff arm on the outside. In the box. Counter. Here it is, and in for the score. Delaware doing it again. McCray quickly out. Kenneth Womack and Womack with the completion. Chestnut trying to follow. His blocking does a nice job. That was big number 77. Nine defenders. 15 yards away from the line of scrimmage. Fourth 
and 19. Remember, they kept their season oh, going on a fourth and 14. He's got some room. And I think he's going to come up short. Yeah. However. Twins. Some good players. They've got a young freshman in Giles, a cornerback, who's going to have a nice career. Impressed to see. You know, everybody wonder how would they handle the step up, the level of playing competition. Well, they represented their conference very well, the NEC. Didn't get the victory here today, but I think they earned the respect of Delaware fans.